What's up guys and welcome to a brand new video. I'm Ambassador Zimmy and today I'm going to be talking about what exactly you can do if your Xbox One console will not turn on. Now before I jump through the video I just want to say real quick that if you guys enjoy this video if you learned something new please make sure to hit that like button and share this video with any of your friends that might also be encountering this problem. As well as if you guys never want to miss any of my Xbox tutorials, game trailers, or just general Xbox news please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Now with that being said let's go ahead and jump right back into the video. So if your Xbox One console will not turn on on. A few basic troubleshooting steps to try out before actually doing a power reset is to check and make sure that the wall outlet that you're using is working for other devices because if it's not chances are it's a problem with your wall outlet and not your actual Xbox itself. The second troubleshooting step is to check and make sure that the power cable is firmly connected to the wall outlet and to the actual console itself. Just make sure to firmly give it a little push and make sure that it's all the way in there. The third troubleshooting step is to ensure that you're using the power cable that came with your console and that it's the correct cable for your region. The fourth and final troubleshooting step is just to make sure that you always have your console plugged directly into the wall and not into a surge protector or an extension lead. I know it can be really, really easy to just throw it in a surge protector or a lead, but because the Xbox One has a internal surge protector, plugging it into a surge protector or an extension lead will not give it its full amount of power needed to run properly. If you check on all of these and none of these seem to be fixing your issue, then what you guys are actually going to need to then do is a power reset. Now, there's two different ways of doing a power reset depending on which type of Xbox that you have. The reason being is because the Xbox One S has an internal power supply while the Xbox One original has a external power supply. So I'm going to actually go ahead and talk you guys through how to do it for the Xbox One S and then I will be talking about how to do it for the Xbox One original. So the way that you do a power reset for your Xbox One S is pretty simple. Just unplug the power cord from the back of the console, wait 10 seconds and then plug the cord back into the console and press the Xbox button on the front of the console to turn it back on. If the console turns on, then great, your problem solved. If for some reason the Xbox console does not turn on, then more than likely it's actually a internal problem with the Xbox itself or a internal problem with the power supply. You guys are then going to need to actually contact Xbox customer support, speak with somebody in hardware, and hopefully they will be able to help you out in some way. Now, if you guys actually have a Xbox One original, the way of doing a power reset is a little bit different. What you guys are actually going to want to do is unplug the cable from the console, the wall outlet, and the actual power supply itself, which is just that big bulky brick. You are then going to want to wait 10 seconds. Be sure to wait the full 10 seconds. This step actually lets the power reset occur. Make sure that you unplug the power supply unit from both the wall and your console while doing this, guys. After you guys have had everything unplugged for 10 seconds, then firmly plug the power cable back into the electrical outlet, the power supply, and into the actual console itself. After you've done this, look on the back of the power supply or that just that big bulky brick and look at the light that's on there. If the light is blinking or just not on it at all, then that would mean that your power supply needs to be replaced. If you're still under warranty, then contact Xbox customer support and hopefully they will be able to help you out and send you a brand new power supply. If you're not, then you might have to go to a retailer near you or just go on to xbox.com. If the light on your power supply is solid, then that means that your power supply is working properly. You should be able to turn back on your Xbox One console. If for some reason the power supply is a solid lit light and your Xbox will still not come on, that would mean that there's actually something internally wrong with your Xbox itself, not with the power supply, but something inside the Xbox is it's not functioning correctly and you would then need to call Xbox customer support and talk to somebody in hardware and hopefully they will be able to give you some more information to help resolve that problem. Anyway guys that's pretty much going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. I hope you guys learned something new. If you guys did please make sure to hit that like button and share this video with any of your friends that might also be encountering this issue as well as if you guys never want to miss out on any of my Xbox tutorials, game trailers, or just general Xbox news please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if at any point in this video, if I wasn't specific enough about anything, or if you're confused about any of the steps to do it, to do a power reset, or just any other random general Xbox question, please make sure to put all of those questions down in the comment section below, and I will respond to those as quickly as I can. Like always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Peace out, guys.